Hi guys and welcome to the channel. I am Jamie with Jamie Loving All Seasons and if you stop by, you know you're here for a fall, a fall slash Halloween haul and some other little things sprinkled in there. Some really wonderful finds, clearance finds that I wanted to get out to you guys so you could go check out your stores. So we have some Dollar Tree finds, some Target, Walmart, uh, and TJ Maxx, I believe. So if that sounds good to you and you want to see a little bit of fall, I wanted to do this haul. So tomorrow is September 2nd. Today the first? I think today's first. September first. So I have to finish up my fall decorating. I wanted to get done and film that for you so this week you could see what I got going on for fall. And then basically Halloween for me is coming up. You guys get a little bit of a sneak peek here behind me of my mantle. I love the way it turned out. But if all of this sounds good to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment. If you see anything that I like, I mean that I'm showing, comment below. Let me know if you purchased it, if you want to purchase it, let me know. All right, let's get into the haul. All right, let's get into the first item. I think we're going to do uh, Dollar Tree. Some of the cool finds that I found just recently at the Dollar Tree. I try. I think I might have tried to show you guys in a short or um, in an Instagram. And something was wrong with my the voice part of it. Anyways, I found these cool hands. They're like, like these ones look like they're crawling out of the ground. They, the, unfortunately, I believe they're the same hand. Now, I did get these. So I guess you could put, see how that's different than that one? Or is it the same? I thought there was two different ones. Yeah, these two and then those two. Okay, these you guys are yard stakes, but they glow in the dark. They glow in the dark. How cool are those? They're little stakes for $1.25. You could put them like in your bushes. Uh, you could tuck them in flowers, whatever, out of the ground. Put a little light on it. And then that way throughout the day it gets charged really well. They had a bunch of glow in the dark items. So I could not pass these up. I got two of each style of hand. Hope you guys can see that. Are those not cool? I, I mean, I thought those were pretty awesome. What else do we have in a, my bag of tricks here? Look at these. If you're doing a Halloween party, I don't know what is sticking here. And or you're just decorating for Halloween, this is a cute little way to do a candelabra. Can you see that? All these items were $1.25, okay? So this would be really fun. I'm thinking for my mantle, what I'm gonna be doing for Halloween. This is just fall. So this will come down and how, as I poke my eye out, <laughs> Halloween will go up. Not all the fall, just some places. So I grabbed one of those, and I believe they stand up. I mean, I guess I could show you guys real quick here. I don't know. These may even glow, you guys. So this is, I think, the way we go. Oh, oh my. What's your, <laughs> your girl's having a hard time. Okay. There we go. Maybe. Come on. There. Look at. Is that not cool? <coughs> Excuse me. I 
think that'll look really neat. I do have some candelabras, real ones, but I thought that was really neat. Then, I want to say, they look like they glow in the dark. I think they do. I think these little baths and the candles on here, that is a uh, chandelier. How neat is that? Look at that. I'm not going to take that one out. Just because I'm not doing them yet. But is that not cool? Oh, you know what? I also have some Aldi finds, you guys. Okay. I found these. They're tinsel, gir uh, like, curtains. I thought, because, you know, we do the Halloween walkthrough. This year we're doing a front display, but it's going to be interactive as well. So, um, we have volunteers that still come and we feed them and stuff. But look at the curtain. And this is what it looks like. It's a little bat. They had different colors. I think they had purple, red, maybe. But I thought this was really neat. So, if you want to, or if you want to do a little backdrop, say you're having a party, you want to do a backdrop, have that behind it where people could take pictures, things like that. I thought that was really fun. They got me with the glow-in-the-dark stuff. What? Is that not cute? $1.25. You could put little treats in here. You could put um, condiments, whatever, in here. And then it glows. So... I grabbed those. I grabbed one of those. The plates. I showed these. I think I think I also did it on Instagram, I think. And um, I'm at Jamie Loving All Seasons. I'm not the greatest. I, so, I always forget. I take pictures. I don't post things. I'm really bad about that. So I grabbed four of those. They're plastic. I think you get four plates. In each one so I'm gonna put these up and then I grab the bowls and the blow the bowls are glow in the dark as well they had a big platter with baths um, also there's cups that I will I'll pause this and show you guys the cups as well in a minute here now, the other items that I grabbed from the Dollar Tree, you know your girl went crazy on the socks. They had so many, and there's so many more out there. These are great little, just little gifts, okay? To nieces, nephews, to co-workers, if they like fun socks, you could put a little something with it. But I found a three pack for uh, $1.25. I thought for sure this was like gonna be, you know, the three, five dollars, whatever. But it's blow pops. And let's see here. They have this one. The charm blow pops. My dad, when the kids were little, he always had Tootsie Pops, Blow Pops for the kids, always, or even for us. Is that not cute? $1.25, great stocking stuffers. If your kids love them or whatever, like I said, think outside the box. Coworkers, you know a coworker that loves some cute socks? You notice they're always wearing fun little socks. It's a great little gift. I found the Beetlejuice. Let's see if you can see. It doesn't really show his face real well, so it's just kind of plain. But I had to get it because, you know, that's coming out, I think, this com this coming week. Um, So I will be going to that. Beetlejuice. I got to get my shirt still. Sorry. <laughs> this one was too cute. Little Bats with Barbie. And it's got orange and then the purple. And it says Barbie in orange on one side and then purple on the other. That's only one sock. 
And then they had the Sally, the Nightmare Before Christmas. Let's see if I can show you a little better. I'm not showing you very well. But it is Sally. And I don't want to tear them apart because they're probably going to be gifts. So we got the Charm Blow Pops. And then the Tootsie Pops. I'll be honest, if they would have had these in, like, guys, like the long ones, I totally would have got my dad one. But he won't wear these little, these little socks. Is that not cute? The owl. One, two, right? And that's what he did in the commercials. So, I got, I grabbed those. What else? We got... The Mickey Mouse, and she's got her little spider web, like her little Halloween outfit. I think it's like a little skeleton. So I grabbed those. I thought these were really cool. These are for my husband. Hopefully, he won't watch this. David. Don't watch this part. I should have been like, David, don't watch this part. Anyways, David Bowie. He loves some David Bowie. And then we got Cruella. Cruella DeVille. Right? So I grabbed those. Alright, that I think is it from the Dollar Tree. Alright, Walmart is actually some clothes. If you guys have not purchased these right here, you need to go get one. They are so soft. It is, um, they have them in plus sizes as well. Time and true. They're only $11.98. I purchased one of these last year in like the burgundy color, but this camo color. And it's so soft. So soft. I'm telling you, this is going to be a, a wonderful for the fall. It's kind of lightweight, but yet cozy. It's just, oh, wonderful. So time and true, Walmart. $11.98, guys. I'm telling you, if your store has these, and you'll know because they are truly buttery soft, here, let me see if I can show you this. Can you see? I can't tell if I'm showing you or not. Maybe you could freeze it. But, it, they're, they're the best. Alright. On to... Alright. This is some really cool finds from Walmart that I found. Clearance finds. So your store may still have them. I want to show you. Great idea. Christmas ideas for co-workers, a neighbor, someone you just want to get a little something for. Um, I don't know, someone at your church. All different things, okay? Guess how much this was, you guys? A dollar. A dollar. And then if you have a cricket or whatever you could personalize this this is a 40 ounce um it's a stainless steel tumbler i was trying to see if it like says how long bpa free a dollar so you know your girl bought a bunch of those it's like it's a dupe of the stanley's and then you can personalize it. This one right here as well. 24 ounces. Um, it says cold for 24 hours. Uh, it's stainless steel. One dollar. So check your Walmarts out. The end of the season, I told you, is the best time to buy things, put them away either for next se the next year's season 
or think outside the box. Think about little, or if you're having a bridal shower or whatever, because these next items would be great for that. A bridal shower, a little girl's party. Guess how much these were. These are 26 ounce text tumblers. Reminds me of the Starbucks. That's what it looks like inside. They twist on a quarter. Do you believe that? A quarter. So I got every color they had. You bet your bottom dollar your girl got them. A quarter. Can you believe that? So we got the pretty pink. I think there might have been a purple, but my store didn't have it. The green. And then the blue, the teal. A quarter. Like, and then what you can do, if it's for a co-worker or whatever, you could put a little tissue in there. You could put a Starbucks gift card in there, a Big B's. You could put some candy, little, buy a big bag of candy. These would be a great little gift for somebody just to say, hey, Merry Christmas, I was thinking of you, things like that. That's what I do. When I find great deals like this, I buy a couple, I set them aside, or I set them for a certain purpose. So check out your, your seasonal stuff, you guys. Right now, because we just had back to school last week was, I think, the first week or this week that we're on right now. And um, so now they're really starting to rev up for the fall season, things like that. All right. Next, I have... My one TJ Maxx item. Ugh. This beautiful rug. Is that not gorgeous, you guys? I love it, and it'll be perfect in the house. So it is $16.99. The company is called Urban 86. I realize I've actually liked a lot of their stuff from Target. Um... But isn't that cute with the little fringes? This is going right by the front door. So I can switch it out with the one that I have and kind of change it up every once in a while. I forgot I had some all these finds that I really wanted to share with you guys. I was trying to do a video like a day in the life like shopping with me. It was so busy and people were buzzing around. It just was not good. All right. Look at these. Cookie mug toppers. So you put them right on the edge of your cookie. And I had bought one pack already. Okay. I wasn't sure if they were going to be any good. I got to tell you, they were tasted wonderful with my coffee and I put a little whipped cream a little cinnamon on it and these are maple I believe is it a maple I thought it said it just says cookie cookie mug tupper but are those not adorable so I grabbed one more box of those for the fall season you can't go into the season without some salted caramel. This was $2.99, I think, and the cookies might have been around two bucks or something too, or they, they weren't that much. I didn't spend much at all. But it's good until the 26th. I know people were making their own caramel. I saw those uh, with the crock pots and the, uh, what is it, sweet condensed milk, I think. But I thought this would be fun. So if we have a little get together, a girl's craft night or something, I could cut up some apples or whatever. And then this little bowl filler. I think this was 
I was going to try to tear the box apart. I think that's what it was. You know, your girl didn't need much. Like, the things that I, you did see were more, like, that I bought were um, stuff that we'll use for, like, the volunteers and things like that. But this will look really cute. I have a little jar, a clear jar. This will look nice in. And I want to say they were $4. $4.99 maybe. So you get mushrooms and little acorns. Isn't that cute? Yeah, all they have some really cool gems. I should have laid stuff out. This is a like impromptu. Okay, so I only found one of these. They were a dollar. It's cutlery. Little forks, but I thought this would be cool to put out when we do the little, because we feed our volunteers and things like that. But look at the little fork. I wanted more than one set, but they only had one at the store I was at. So it's like, I can't see using this as a, like a fork, but it's little hands. The spoon is the head. And then this must be like the leg, like the thigh, the knife. Isn't that cool? So that'll be neat. And they were only a buck. So I got some little cool serving things. All right, your girl was on the hunt for these. I got this little kitty cat. I got this one for my sister because she I knew she wanted it, and there was only one. She had asked me. She said, if you're out and about. And I knew, so I, I got the one kitty cat for her. And that's the one I watch the cats for. I found this little guy, only one of these. A little candy corn, so cute. And then the witch's hat. Comment below. These were all a dollar. And these, the silverware and these were in the little, um, they're for your straws. So basically for this. You know, so nothing goes in it. You know, your girls that got your Stanleys or whatever, Yeti or just a regular tumbler. I think there's a ghost. There was an owl. I should have got the owl for my other sister. But I grabbed a couple of the witches for friends and witches hats. Because they had a bunch of those. So I grabbed those. Let's see. Honestly, I forgot what this is. Oh! <laughs> okay. So... I, this is a little splurge, not that it was super expensive, but I typically like to wait for the hearth and hand stuff to go on sale. But I thought this was so pretty. You can use it as a pitcher. You can use it as a vase. They're calling it a pitcher. This was $19.99. So not too bad. Um, but it is a little pricey. I mean, so that's why a lot of times Hearth and Hand, I do love their stuff. Um, from Joanna and Joanna and Chip Gaines. I love them. I used to watch their show all the time. And, um, but I just love that. That brown. I thought that was so pretty. So I got that. And, uh oh. And this item as well. And it was the only one. These two, you get two of them for uh, $19.99. It's hearth and hand. Um, these are definitely probably going, one might go in the kitchen. And then uh, the other one, it, I think it's going to go on my shelf. Oh, no. 
So just so you guys know, so you live and learn. Oh, this one's heavy. Okay. So this is like an actual, like a vinyl. Okay. This one right here. Is that not pretty? But it's only to hang. But, you know, you can put it on one of those little pitcher stands. This one is quite heavy. This black one. Is that not pretty? And I like the contrast of the black. So that'll look really nice on the shelf. That's what I was thinking. This one might go in the kitchen, like, sitting over there. Um, I was thinking of using that little pitcher with some pretty flowers coming out of it with this next to it in the kitchen. Very simple. That is it. And these were $19.99. It was the only one sitting there. Like I said, this definitely has some weight to it. Um, that is glass. Okay. This is, I don't know, that's pretty solid. It's not like a plastic. This is more plastic. So I will say that. But $19.99 for the two of those. I didn't want to wait in. Um, the picture I could have probably waited on, but uh, the, you know, the picture, the poor stuff. <laughs> but this, there was only one. So I was like, nope, I'm going to get it. Once again, there's a hot mess right here. That is it. I know I've forgotten something because I always do. Um, that was quick and short. Just to let you know, so this week, tomorrow is Labor Day. And your girl is finishing her fall. I Comment below, would you guys rather just see the whole home tour? Because I did the coffee bar where I kind of talked through it. Um, and this year I was going to try to do the home tour, just kind of like to music, um, to not explain everything. Comment below, would you want the home tour next? Because at that point I'll be, I should be done with the main floor and I could show you everything. Or I can do a couple videos where I just show you little areas. Like I said, you're getting a little bit of a sneak peek here. The mantle turned out. I, I love it. Honestly, I'll be sad to pull it down. But you know how much fun I have for my Halloween. So you definitely want to come back for that. Um, yeah, that's about it. Your girl's looking a little messy. We just got home from church. Today was our crack. We do, we do uh, the first Sunday of the month. David and I are over our potlucks at church. They're a lot of fun, but a lot of work as well. Um, everybody brings dish, dishes and we coordinate. We get the tables ready, but you know this girl loves that kind of stuff. And so does my husband because he's a foodie. So he loves talking the food. And, you know, just fellowship with people is wonderful. So, but you don't want to miss out. You want to stick around and you want to subscribe if you are brand new because the decorating, decorating part, that's where I shine. I really do. I can't always show it to you of decorating, but I can show you the finished result. And um, I have a lot of fun doing it. Halloween is one of my favorites. We'll also have the outside part that I'll share with you. And then also on our haunt at the Roxbury, we have so much coming up. We are going to so many um, theme, not theme parks, but uh, haunted houses and orchards this year. We're going to two different orchards. I think it's four haunted houses for sure right now that we will be filming. So if you like that kind of stuff, you'll want to check out Haunt at the Roxbury, and then I'll have some stuff on my channel as well. But all the decorating inside will be on, only on this channel for Halloween. But you know, your girl loves fall. It's her favorite time of year, so I this makes me happy right here. Those colors, oh, I love it. How many of you love it? All right, that's it. 
Uh, if you guys have anything exciting going on, comment below. Leave it down below. Let me know what's going on with you. Um, yeah. All right. Give me the big thumbs up. And be kind to one another. Love one another. And I'll see you next time.